Hello YouTube, it's Rob from Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services based in the northeast. I hope everybody's uh, having a great day. Uh, today's video, I bought myself a rear roller at last. And uh, it was a decision that I've ummed and awed for about 12 months. I've, uh, I've not been very decisive over it. And I'll tell you why. Um, when you buy a rear roller, it, it, it's not simple because I've made mistakes in the past. Uh, two years ago, it's over two years now, I had uh, a McCulloch 4x4 four-wheel drive um, lawnmower. It was a homeowner mower and it came to the end of its life. And I bought a Hater 48 Pro and it was awful. It was perfect if you had a perfect lawn, an inch to cut and it was dry. Anything sort of more than that and it was a big lump of metal hard to sort of uh, maneuver and it struggled in the wet it struggled with any type of long grass and i sort of got sucked in by the glamorous youtube videos and uh, anyway i kept it a few weeks i sold it i lost a few quid on it it's not something i've advertised and uh, i then bought the honda hrx 537 the four wheel mower which i absolutely love and it served me well but what I've learned over the years is one mower doesn't uh, perform in all lawns and does everything. You need various mowers. But when you first start out, nobody tells you that, do they? So I, I took my time picking a uh, four wheel, sorry, a rear roller. And uh, I went and I took advice. I looked at the WeBank 48 Pro um, and I went and had a, a feel of it and a, a sort of a mess around with it. And it was 65 kilos before you put fuel in it, oil in it, or any grass in the box. And it was a hell of a lump. And it was only a 19 inch and uh, it put me off. Everything else about it was brilliant. But the sheer weight, I thought, my God, this is going to be 70 odd kilos. And if you're trying to maneuver it around small spaces, so I, I sacked that off. I then went and had a look at the still 21 inch rear roller. Again, 55 kilos. Now, the Honda HRX is 42, 44 kilos, right? And I decided I didn't want to go above that. Because if you're a jobbing gardener like me, and I'm sure there's a lot watching this, you're in, you do the lawns, you do a little bit of border work, you're out. You don't want me humping 60 odd kilos about. Um, so I had a look at the still, and it was a big chunk of metal. And I decided against it. Uh, I've got about four or five lawns that it would be ideal for. But the rest, I thought it wouldn't be. And I'd end up taking two mowers out every day. You know? So I, I discarded that. And then I looked at the 19-inch mowers. Um, I also looked at uh, the mount field. Um, and there's a mount field. I'm not sure of the uh, the model. It's quite a high-end mount field. Um, and I looked at that as well. I thought that might be a, a good idea. But... They just you couldn't get them the stock levels were so low that uh so i had to discard that and then i came up with the the uh the honda lawn flight that uh carl and mike from dagtails use um and i thought that's a lovely mower but it was too long to get in the uh, citroen blingo i'd end up folding down the handlebars every time i want to get it out so i had to discard that and then a few weeks ago I was up in Morpeth and I went to a place called Robson's and Cowan's. It's like a, a garden machinery shop. It's in an old barn on a farm and it's wonderful. It's like going back in time. And they had Honda and still equipment. And uh, they showed me the Honda um, 487 um, rear roller. And uh, he said, this is a, a really popular mower. I said, look, I said, I've seen them. I like them. Um, but they are very, very slow. He said, well, let's go outside and have a look. So he started it up and uh, I had a little go of it up and down. I thought it's not too bad actually. Uh, and he said, I can raise the revs to, don't quote me on this, I'm not a mechanic, but I think 3000 was the number he, he gave me. Uh, and he did that. And then I thought this is as fast as I need it. Um, so, I had a little sort of, you know, a chat with yourself as we're doing. And um, I asked him what the best price you could do for me. And he said it thousand pound, which is the online price. So we shook hands and um, I told him I didn't want the next display model. He told me he had one in the back and I, I went back the next day. He'd built it up. Um, he'd, he'd increased the revs to the legal maximum um, and he'd put oil in, fuel and he checked it. 
and I took it away and I've used it and this is just my first impressions. I like it, uh, it's 42 kilos and I wouldn't want to go any heavier, heavier if I'm honest. Yes, it's only 19 inch, but uh, it does a great job. Um, we're now just coming into the middle of April, so most of the cuts thus far this season I've been using the Honda HRX 537 because you can't use rear rollers on the first cuts of the season, or if you can, it's going to struggle. So uh, I've got the first cuts out of the way and now I'm using it. I like it. It does a lovely job. The stripes, you can't argue that they look nicer. Um, I know a lot of people say that you don't need to, but uh, it does look nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got some footage um, of me using it and the, the finished article. I'll let you have a look and um, I'm going to use it for the season and um, not all the time, just on some lawns or I'll take it out some days because what you you learn as you go along and if you're in the gardening business, you'll know one mower doesn't fit all. You need different types of mowers. And I understand when you're first starting out, you can't do this. You've got to pick one. Um, and it's a difficult choice depending on your budget. But as you go, you earn a few quid, you put a bit of money away for uh, new equipment and then you can start buying different lawn mowers and you can use different lawn mowers on different days on different lawns. But uh, the Honda, uh, I'm happy with it. Um, I, I, my initial, um, I have a smile on my face when it, it puts the stripes down um, and it is fast enough. It collects well, I haven't used it in the rain yet. But uh, the collection thus far has been been lovely and uh, I'm super impressed. Um, so that's the, the rear roller story, story. I'll show you some footage now, let you have a look at it and um, I'll see you on the next one. But remember, when the green gold's growing, keep mowing. You take care now. All the best.